This is a very special ball. It's about to swim through the sewer of a Swiss plateau community in stinking sewage. Around 20 of these balls have so far been soldered together in the Airwag Electronics Workshop. On the way, the ball measures temperature, pH values, conductivity, redox potential and other data. Until it can be fished out again here in the wastewater treatment plant. The matter is not particularly appetizing. Back in the laboratory, the squid, for sewage quality instrument device, is therefore thoroughly washed before the memory card can be removed and the data read out. But why not simply measure these wastewater data in the sewage treatment plant? From household Along sewer pipes, from the household to the wastewater treatment plant, chemical and biological processes take place. And with the squid, we want to measure the environmental factors that influence them. In today's experiment, for example, we clearly see temperature differences when one sewer discharges into another, which is not spectacular per se, but our partners abroad have seen seawater infiltrations into the sewer and others are identifying industrial wastewater that also enters into the public sewers. What are the other tasks in this project? In addition to optimizing the electronics, we also want to determine the position of the squid in the sewer system. In cooperation with the Lucerne University of Applied Sciences and Arts, we want to know what happened where and not just have to refer to maps. What are the special challenges? My postdoc said building hardware is hard, and this is indeed true. There are feces and other things in the sewage system, it has to be waterproof and it has to defy the adverse circumstances and always remain functional. And that's why the sewage ball is also sent on its next journey for testing purposes. Three, two, one, los! <laughs>